Hello all, welcome to the next section, Classification and Regression with K-Nearest Neighbours. In this section we'll introduce K-Nearest Neighbours, KNN, a simple algorithm that can be used for classification and regression tasks. We'll compare and contrast KNN with simple linear regression and work through toy problems to understand the model. Let's start with the first video now, KNN, lazy learning and non-parametric models. In this video we'll understand the working of a KNN model, where and how they are used. We'll then look at lazy learning and non-parametric models and their advantages and disadvantages. Let's start with KNN models. KNN is a simple model for regression and classification tasks. It's so simple that its name describes most of its learning algorithm. Its titular neighbours are representations of training instances in a metric space. A metric space is a feature space in which distances between all members of a set are defined. In the previous section's pizza problem, our training instances were represented in a metric space because the distances between all the pizza diameters was defined. These neighbours are used to estimate the value of the response variable for a test instance. The hyperparameter k specifies how many neighbours can be used in the estimation. A hyperparameter is a parameter that controls how the algorithm learns. Hyperparameters are not estimated from the training data and are sometimes set manually. Finally, the k neighbours that are selected are those that are nearest to a test instance, as measured by some distance function. For classification tasks, a set of tuples of feature vectors and class labels comprise the training set. The simplest KNN classifiers use the mode of the KNN labels to classify test instances, but other strategies can be used. The K is often set to an odd number to prevent ties. In regression tasks, the feature vectors are each associated with a response variable that takes a real valued scalar instead of a label. The prediction is the mean or weighted mean of the KNN response variables. The second part of this video is lazy learning and non-parametric models. KNN is a lazy learner, also known as instance-based learners. Lazy learners simply store the training dataset with little or no processing. In contrast to eager learners such as simple linear regression, KNN does not estimate the parameters of a model that generalizes the training data during a training phase. Lazy learning has advantages and disadvantages. Training an eager learner is often computationally costly, but prediction with the resulting model is often inexpensive. For simple linear regression, prediction consists only of multiplying the learned coefficient by the feature and adding the learned intercept parameter. A lazy learner can predict almost immediately, but making predictions can be costly. In the simplest implementation of KNN, prediction requires calculating the distances between a test instance and all training instances. In contrast to most of the other models that we'll discuss, KNN is a non-parametric model. A parametric model uses a fixed number of parameters or coefficients to define the model that summarizes the data. The number of parameters is independent of the number of training instances. Non-parametric may seem to be a misnomer, as it does not mean that the model has no parameters Rather, non-parametric means that the number of parameters of the model is not fixed and may grow with the number of training instances. Non-parametric models can be useful when training data is abundant and you have little prior knowledge about the relationship between the response and the explanatory variables. KNN makes only one assumption. Instances that are near each other are likely to have similar values of the response variable. The flexibility provided by non-parametric models is not always desirable. A model that makes assumptions about the relationship can be useful if training data is scarce or if you already know about the relationship. That's all about KNN, lazy learning and non-parametric models.